back to Milton Moe Junction. As I mentioned in the last video, this one is about building my new points control board. But as also mentioned, the first thing I needed to do was change this point setup so that it changed at the same time as the other one previously uh, using the lens, lens uh, controller and motor, which is all in this bit here. I couldn't get it to change at the same time because it, obviously this is a right hand point and the other one's a left hand point. So the only way around it as I mentioned was to use a separate point controller. Luckily I had a spare Cobalt AD, was it an ADS2 that I hadn't used that was laying around and some Pico point motors. So what I did was I've disconnected this one by a little plug that's in there so there's no power getting to that and I've put an, the ADS controller underneath together with the Pico points motor I've programmed that as the same number as the point that I want to join uh, to change at the same time and uh, it's all working okay the rod has to come up here so to make that work I had to drill a sort of long uh, well a series of holes to make a, a sort of trough that went right through the board because as I, I think I also mentioned there was a base to the point so I did that and then the uh, control rod for the point just stuck up so the only way to make that change the point was to glue a little bit of plastic onto the uh, two rods that were there and um, sort of make a hole in the plastic and uh, push it through. So I mean, you can see the difference. That one is the new one, and this one here is uh, as the two rods, but there's a base underneath, so I had to drill through it. So now um, I've changed all the diagram, and I can't see if you can see with the light shining on it. But the points now change in unison so I can get on with building a control panel with just a single button to change those two points to the crossover uh, mode so thanks for watching and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I've done a bit more welcome back to Milton Mode Junction I'm in the process of building the uh, control panel now for my points uh, it's in two parts really there's the electronics uh, side of it and then there's the uh, the actual frame or the control box uh, I've pretty much started both uh, so this is the control panel that I started you'll see that all the holes have now been cut through and the push button switches I've done two lots of push button switches uh, as you can see on here, they're all labelled and uh, ready to go. It's a complicated wiring mess, but uh, all the control units will be on this base, or there's another base that's uh, going to be put on top of it, but uh, that will pretty much be it. So I'll continue and show you uh, a little bit later when I've done a bit more work. So see you in a while. Bye. Welcome back to Mortimo Junction. I've started work on the control panel. Uh, as you can see, I've created the um, box for the panel to go in. I've got a bit of tidying up here to do, but I had to cut those out. It's a bit unfortunate that some of the switches on the control panel were a bit too close to the edge, and I'd uh, forgotten that I needed some sort of cutouts on those. Or what I should have done was made the uh, the panel a bit wider on that side plenty of room on the other side but uh, unfortunately it's too late to do it now so what I'm going to do now is wire up some of these into the uh, panel just to test that they're uh, working and then what I shall do is here we go paint the box I think I'm going to paint the box black so that everything looks a bit neater just trying to do this one-handed there you go 
yeah all the buttons are in all the light buttons so uh, that looks pretty good I'm pretty pleased with that so I'll do a test and then uh, see how it uh, comes out so I'll speak to you a bit later bye for now bye. welcome back to Milton Moe Junction um, the construction side of this uh, little project has pretty much been completed I'll show you here uh, that's the box uh, that's the most of the components the electronic components and this is the back of the fascia so the remaining job is to wire this lot of wires on the fascia to that lot plug them in to that lot on there so that is the next job to undertake uh, it's not quite as simple as that because I've got to make sure these plugs are in the same or well, the correct holes and the chances are there's uh, I think there's 13 points and if I just plug them in 50% of them are probably going to be the wrong way round i.e. they don't uh, turn the point the same as the um, picture or the buttons the light buttons on here so um, I'll probably have to unplug half of them and redo them and it's also a case of the cables reaching uh, from the top to the bottom so I might have to get some extension cables, but that's the next job. So. Okay, I've done a bit more. You may well notice that uh, I've had a little bit of a change around. I did a bit of testing on the others. I, I managed a couple of switches which uh, worked okay, fine. But um, what I noticed is I'd got um, some of these Alpha Switch D units in the wrong place. I, I had them all down um, in the middle here somewhere I think anyway most of the the cables attached to the switches wouldn't reach so it would have meant extending every single one of them virtually so I've changed it all round of what I've done it now with the alpha switches in the position where they, they can reach most of the uh, cables without extension some will need extension so I have bought some uh, but most of them now reach um, without that uh, I've raised the back panel up so it's closer to the front panel and the wiring and um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it now so I've got have got a few extension cables they've arrived um, so I'm going to get on with doing a bit of wiring up and then I'll show you what's happened because um, as I say I've changed it all around I've numbered them these are the control units which are from 1 to 12 uh, and then that's 13 to 24 um, I don't need all of them because some of the points are missing so for instance I haven't got let's have a look I haven't got a 5 no, it's, I haven't got a four, sorry, I haven't got a four, so there's a four missing. And also these are the, the, the um, this is the unit that gives the points their numbers. So I can put any point number to any one of these. So what I've done is I've labelled these all up, uh, 7, 17, 5, 3, 1 and 12. And the cables have come from wherever they're needed to fit to these and these are all the ones where the uh, points are at that end of the, the the front panel it's hard to explain but uh, yeah I mean it's all coming along so I'll do a little bit of work on it and uh, come back and show you what's happening okay I've done a little bit more haven't finished yet though um, I'll just open that up. You can see I've done quite a lot of joining up, but um, I'm short of a few extensions. I could actually make it so it works, but I'm thinking if anything goes wrong, I want to lift it up, and I want to lift it up without having to unplug some of these uh, little plugs. So it's simple just to get some, a few more extensions to them, and that means I can just hold it up and work within it. But just to show you the actual board, it's now connected to this alpha sniffer 
unit which connects to my ECOS and uh, I'll just spin it around that's uh, the board nearly finished as you can see the points now change with the button and the interesting thing is that when you change it on here the point changes on the ECOS or the the, uh, the map on the ECOS changes <clears throat> it only goes one way it goes from the board to the ECOS if I change it on the ECOS it won't change the board but uh, yeah that's uh, that's how it's coming along I've got to do a bit more obviously I've got to join them up so it's these ones here that are dead at the minute not joined up and I need some padding round here I need this at front actually fixed to the box so um, haven't really worked out how to do that yet I could velcro it or more likely I'll probably just put a screw or two in the board and uh, cover it up with a black um, cap so that's as we stand at the minute so I'll uh, let you know how I've got on as soon as I've got hold of the new um, extension cables which will probably be a few days but I'll speak to you later bye for now bye welcome back to Milton Mo Junction as you can see I've now finished the points controller I added the extra lengths of wire not that it actually needed them but it was it made it easier for me to join everything up and it makes it easier if there's any problems in future I can lift the lid off and um, get to the workings I've velcroed behind here double velcro strip um, on the top there to hold the board on other than that it's pretty firm so that'll probably be it um, so as you can see it's uh, working, I can um, change the points by the simple press of a button and that same point is obviously this one on this diagram on the ECOS and you may well be able to see it now it changes the ECOS at the same time but the whole idea of creating this points controller is so that I don't have to keep sw switching between different windows on the ECOS between the air engine control the loco controls and um, the points control so now I can have the points controller just sitting there all the time and controlling the engines from the ECOS so uh, it's um, problem solved so that's about it I think I'll just ramble on otherwise so thanks for watching if you are got any comments please feel free to leave them and subscribe if you wish but uh, for now I'll say goodbye bye